the Diocese of Mackenzie, Fort Smith covers uh, a great area. It covers all of the Northwest Territory, a part of Western Nunavut, and also the northernmost area of Saskatchewan called the Athabasca region. It is made up of Dene, Métis, and Inuit peoples, and they make up almost three quarters of the population of the diocese. In other words, the Diocese of Mackenzie Fort Smith is an Aboriginal diocese. Our needs really are around trying to do ministry and accessing those areas on a regular basis. And so a lot of the issues that we deal with uh, given uh, the great expanse of land include travel and of course just trying to get resources to the communities whether they're capital or, or ministry related they're a great challenge. The void in the community without the church is many of the families and many of the elders are saying we need a church. They have been gathering for Sundays at a local elementary school and the school's been very generous and having the gymnasium as a site but people see that as a temporary place as they long for the church being there. And the church is not only a place to gather for worship, but it's a place of safety and blessing. The communities often speak of the need for a, a, a priestly presence or the presence of religious people is also appreciated. They also speak of a great desire for the sacraments. And so uh, they often speak about the bishop. We need baptism. We need uh, confirmation and Holy Communion, and we, we need marriage. And so I was really struck by the remarkable consistency of the emphasis in the sacraments. Two programs that have helped people a lot come to mind. The first program would be the 12-step program. It's a, an addictions recovery retreat process that we have held in the diocese for several years. A second program we've recently launched is lay leadership training. Again, most of our church is Aboriginal, and so we are continuing to look at raising up and supporting Aboriginal church leadership. And we've had great success recently gathering people in regions of the territory to reflect on issues and challenges in their particular region. I think the biggest issue, though, for some of the smaller communities is we still need a more regular pastoral presence, and that's something the smaller communities are asking for and really appreciate. It is very important to raise a significant amount of money for a church project which we've never seen before in the diocese. This is the first time that we have had to rebuild a church. This church is absolutely crucial because it's not only about serving the community of Fort Simpson, but also four or five other communities a part of the region that don't get serviced if there's not a base in Fort Simpson. The funds from Catholic Missions in Canada that hopefully we will realize will go towards the overall cost of building the church. The, the cost of building the church is about $1.3 million. So uh, the diocese itself, through a lot of efforts, has raised with the community about $350,000. Monies are hard to come by in the north, and the communities have worked very hard to raise the bit of money that they've raised. I'll give you an example. An old elder named Billy Villeneuve has collected any kind of bottle or plastic uh, item he can for the last three and a half years as a way of contributing to the fundraising for the church. And that has really rallied the community because Billy was uh, uh, sick for about four months. He is an elder and that uh, gap was filled in by other interested members of the community, including the pastor, Father Joe Daly, while Billy was recovering from his sickness. So monies are hard to come by in the North and people work hard to come up with what they can. We have raised now a little more with that total from in the diocese to about close to two thirds of the amount. And so the monies raised from Catholic missions in Canada get us to a crucial point so that we can carry through with the contract we have just signed with the builder that will not only serve the purpose of providing a church in Fort Simpson but also the purpose of providing a multi-purpose facility for the larger community of Fort Simpson and the Detchel. The building committee in Fort Simpson all along designed the church as being a multi-purpose building we hope that there will be, of course, not only daily Mass in the Fort Simpson Church, 
but there will be the kinds of activities that we would see in the life of a Catholic parish that is uh, a central part of the life of a community. So we're very excited about the opportunities to expand the use of the facility and the grounds once the church is built. The Aboriginal people have told me over and over again, Bishop, we feel blessed and we feel safe. It's important to us that it's there. <laughs>